from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Good evening and welcome to the National Book Festival. My name is Monica Valentine and I work at the Library of Congress in the U.S. Art Sciences and Humanities Division and at the Young Reader Center. At the Young Reader Center, I meet kids from all over the world who are super excited about books by our next presenter, beloved by middle schoolers everywhere. He is the best-selling author of the incredibly popular Origami Yoda series, Fake Mustache, The Quick Pick Adventure Society books, and Horton Halfpot. Due out later this month is Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, Beware the Power of the Dark Side. Today, he's here to share with us his new picture book about a toad who takes his work very seriously, McToad Moe's Tiny Island. Be sure to visit the book sale shop on the lower level where his books are available. Welcome, we must, Tom Engelberger. Hey, thanks everybody. Thanks for coming to see me. I really appreciate it. I'm pretty excited because we're gonna have, uh, the artwork here is gonna show up on the big screen, right? because uh, that's perfect, because we're about to start the game show, and you guys know about the game show, right? It's called? Something very close to that is, uh, <laughs> it's, what's the, what do you think the game show is called? Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Uh, it's a movie, not a game show, but you're on the right track. Anybody remember what the game show is called? The game show is called Name It to Win It, because I'm going to draw a picture up here on the board. The first person to correctly call out the name of the character I'm drawing wins the picture. All right, now this guy said name that Star Wars character. They might not all be Star Wars characters, okay? So keep an open mind, all right? Now, uh, does everybody have a clear view of the board? If you want to go ahead and put the camera on there so everybody can see, perfect. Oh, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be just like the price is right. This is going to be fantastic. So is everybody ready to play Name It to Win It? All right. Can you name, but before I start, let me just tell you one thing. Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. For one thing, I'm being blinded by lights. I can't even see you. But also, I'm going to be busy drawing, and I won't see your hand go up. If you know who it is, just yell out the name of the character, okay? Everybody got that? Just yell at the, and also, it's not going to be Yoda on the first one. So don't just start yelling Yoda, Yoda. It's not going to be Yoda on the first one, okay? Is everybody ready? Name this famous character of children's book literature. What? What did you say? Who was that? Luckily, I can't see who said that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Name this famous character of children's book literature. Anybody know who this is? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse? It does look kind of like, if I didn't know how to draw Mickey Mouse, it would look like Mickey Mouse. Yeah, but it's not Mickey Mouse. Let's keep going. Famous character. All right. Uh, no, it's not Chewbacca. Toad. Who said Toad? Who said Toad? This guy said Toad? Oh, uh, do you know the Toad's name? That's too picky, isn't it, to ask him the Toad's name? The Toad is named Mick Toad. It's the star of my new book, Mick Toad, Moe's Tiny Island. And a Mick Toad is about a toad with a hat, uh, like that, and a lawnmower. How am I going to draw a lawnmower on there? I don't think I can draw him on a lawnmower. I want to draw something else instead. What should I draw him on instead of a lawnmower? Anybody have an idea? Larry, what's your idea? Your name is Larry? What's your idea, Larry? A machine gun? Who ever heard of a toad with a machine gun? That's crazy. Dude, if we give, McTo if we give the toads machine guns, you, you can't trust the toads. They're going to go crazy. Who's got an idea? What can I draw the toad riding on? What do you think? What? The McToad in his golf cart. Man, all right, let me see what I can do here. Here's the golf cart. Oh boy, it's been a long time since I've ridden in a golf cart. I don't play golf. Uh, is this, oh, now it's bumping his hat off. Okay, there it goes. And there it is, and um, it's like that. And he's got, I guess, golf clubs, something in the back here. All right. You know, it's, I don't mean to be rude, but a, a, go, a toad playing golf, there's not quite enough for a book. We need like one extra thing. Like, where is he playing golf? And it can't be a golf course because that'd be too obvious. Where do you think he's playing? Where do you think he's playing golf? Yeah, you. Larry, your name is Larry. In the soccer shirt. Your name is Larry. Is that right? What is your name? Jerry. Jerry. Oh, now where? Where do you think he's playing golf? Mount Kilimanjaro. Yes, this book just got awesome, man. All right, here we go. Here's the plains of Africa, and here's Toto down there singing. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? There's Toto. 
Okay, all right. And then here's Mount Kilimanjaro, and he's, uh, it's pretty steep. It's got snow on top, and uh, I guess there's an elephant or something. What do they have? Do they have elephants on Kilimanjaro? Well, it's a tourist. The elephant is a tourist. He's there to see the thing. There we go. This book just got a lot better. Thanks for that Kilimanjaro thing. I'm just wondering, oh, and he's, Nick Toad jumps, like he's jumping off like a ramp. Okay, he's like, uh, He's like flying through the air on his golf cart now. I think we just need one more thing to make it a great book. What's the one last thing? What are we going to add to this to make it great? Got any ideas? A what? Cannons. All right, okay. We'll, we'll have a cannon because he's just, he's, they've shot the golf cart out of the cannon. Instead of the human cannonball, he's the toad cannonball. I'm going to have to give him a little helmet. I'm going to give him a helmet. Okay, there we go. McToad, but now he's scared. Ah! Okay, all right. Who won this one, by the way? Who was the dude that won this? What's your name again? What is that? Larry, congratulations. You just won a very nice picture. All right. You can pick that up. You can pick that up when we're done here. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? What's that? Your name is Connor? I'm getting very confused. Now, your name is Connor, and you just want a poster, right? Yes. Yeah, we're all very clear. Okay. Don't worry, Larry. Nothing's going to happen to your poster. It's safe. Okay. So is everybody ready for round two of Name and Twin? By the way, I showed you the book, right? Did you notice that this picture that I just drew um, is not very good, but the picture on the book really is good? That's because I wanted this book to be really good, so I, I got this guy. I think he's one of the best illustrators in the world. His name is John Hendricks. And his illustrations for it are just amazing. They're absolutely incredible. So he draws a lot. In fact, you guys should have gone to see him. Why did you come to see me? He's over next door. Anyway, all right. So, so here we go. We're done with McToad. We're ready to move on now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this one, especially for you history buffs, okay? Not Star Wars. This is a, a historical. You're looking for an historical figure here. Is everybody ready? Wait a minute. Who just said George Washington? Dude, I haven't even started drawing. How did you know? It's George Washington, and I haven't even started. Okay, here we go. Uh, da, da, da. Wait, is that Hail to the Chief or something like that? Da. There he goes. He's got like a wig. He's got a wig and a um, very formal looking. He's a very attractive man uh, like that. Very nice looking guy. Yep. Now, there's one difference. Actually, it's not actually. I'm going to give it to the guy. What was your name, George Washington guy? What was your name? Your name is Larry. Great. This is going great. Okay. 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 I'm giving it to Larry because he said George Washington, but actually it's not George Washington because uh, I'm just going to add a couple more details here and you'll see, I think you'll see who it really is. Um, it's a rat. It's a rat. This is my book, The Rat with the Human Face, right? It's, a, it's my new book. And by the way, the first book in this series, the first book in this series is called The Poop Fountain. Um, and so before the second book out, I always had to go around and draw poop. And that's embarrassing to go around drawing poop for a living. So now I go around and draw a rat that looks like George Washington for a living. So that is a series of books. It's kind of like a prequel to Origami Yoda. It's about kids that grew up in the same area, and they didn't have origami Yoda to, to help them around, so they decided to go on these crazy adventures. And in the first crazy adventure, they decided to sneak into a sewage treatment plant. And a sewage treatment plant, that's where the poop goes when you flush the toilet. It's disgusting. In fact, I don't recommend that you read it. It's very bad. I'm working on having the book banned because it's disgusting. Our children should, be, should not be exposed to poop or rats with human faces. Uh, but anyway, the second book is about a rat with a human face. They hear a story about this creepy basement where there's a rat with a human face. So they sneak into the basement, right? But right after they sneak in, the door locks behind them. And now they're stuck in the creepy basement with the rat with the human face. Oh, man. Oh, it's terrible. You shouldn't read that book either. It's really gross. And I think the, one of them gets peed on by the rat. It's terrible. <laughs> Really, like I said, these books should be banned. They should not be allowed. Uh, okay, having a little trouble. I'm messing up your poster, George, or Larry, or whatever your name was. Okay. What? You want a better picture? So, 
Not only is it a bad picture, but now it's crumpled. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for round three. Round three of Name It to Win It. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, can you name this famous character? This is, this is a famous character, but he's not famous for children's books yet because uh, my book hasn't come out yet. But, but he is famous. Super Owl. That's better than the actual book. I like Super Owl. Wait, I think I heard somebody say it. Somebody said it over there. What'd you say? What? Ninja Raccoon. Well, you're, you're getting closer. <laughs> I think I heard it. I think I'm hearing it now from the front row. Uh, uh, no, it's not. It's not super raccoon. It's okay. All right, Larry's got it right here. Larry, who is it? Right, it's Rocket Raccoon. You guys know Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy, right? And he's got this friend who's a tree. He's got the yeah, and the. And the tree only ever says, I am Groot, and Rocket just blows stuff up and stuff like that. That's my book. I'm, I'm doing like a book version of that. It's called Rocket and Groot Stranded on Planet Strip Mall. And that's not out till next spring, but uh, it's going to be wild and crazy. It's going to be wild and crazy. And the drawings, <laughs> the drawings really look like this because... Rocket does the drawings himself, right? And so he's only got like a raccoon claw to scratch on a touchscreen doodle app. So that's why the drawings look really bad. Not because they can't draw. Oh man, they're getting more wrinkled by the minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what else do we have up here? Oh, 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 you guys are going to love this one. Okay, no, you're, you're actually not. So here we go. All right, here we go. All right. Anybody? Anybody got this famous? Anybody? Okay, I'm going to give you a little more information. All right, all right. Anybody you know, anybody know who's going to be riding the skateboard? Who's going to be riding the skateboard? Anybody? Johnny Quest? Johnny Depp? Justin Bieber? What? I don't even understand what's going on anymore. Right, just hold up. Let me give you another clue. Let me give you another clue. No, no. Oh. That, that's a good guess. Okay, no, I couldn't get the rights to Tony Hawk. He's very expensive. Okay, here we go. Who said a pot? It is a pot. It is a pot. Now do you know who's going to be in the pot? Flat. Oh, good guess with Groot. Good guess with Groot, but it's not Groot. Anybody? Anybody? Good guess with, you're getting closer with Cactus. Wait, 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 hold on, I heard it. Shh, shh, shh. Hold on a second now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Who said Cactus? Okay, Cactus was a good guess. It's not a cactus, but it's got these little sharp things up here. All right, who knows what this is called? Is there anybody in the back that knows what this is called? In the blue shirt back there, did, did you know what this is? A what? A Venus flytrap. It is a Venus flytrap. This is, uh... all right, I'm going to give it to the dude back there because I figured the guys in the back deserve a little extra chance there because the sound waves take longer to come from back there. I wanted to give him a chance. This is about a Venus flytrap who solves mysteries. Okay, his name is Inspector Flytrap. His name is Inspector Flytrap, and he rides, well, he can't actually move around because he's in this pot, right? And uh, so he needs, uh, he needs some help. So here he is. This is a book. It's called Inspector Flytrap, and it comes out next uh, spring. And because he, can't, because he can't get around, because he can't walk, and he's in a pot, he gets a skateboard, and then he hires this goat to push him around. Uh, but like a lot of goats, the goat sort of has a bad attitude. 
So anyway, it's this crazy book with lots of crazy situations that he and the goat get into as they solve crimes. And the first, your parents may have heard of this before. The name of the book is The Da Vinci Cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, very good. I'd be very care- I get sued if I pronounce that even slightly incorrect. What was the name of the dude that won that? What was your name? Who? You sure? I thought I heard uh, something else, but that's fine. We're good with that. All right. Now, guys, ladies and gentlemen, you know I've just been messing with you with these first books. I mean, these are real books. I'm not making them up, and I hope you read them. But I know that uh, from what I've gained guessed here, a lot of you are interested in the Origami Yoda books. Is that correct? Yeah, some of you guys into the Origami Yoda books? All right. So the next drawing is going to be from the Origami Yoda books. But... Once again, it's not, don't yell origami Yoda. It's not going to be origami Yoda. Just hold on. Shh, hold on. Shh, hold on one minute. Shh, give me one minute. I will start drawing. Once I start drawing, as soon as you know the name of the character, start yelling it out, okay? And I'm going to do my best to figure out where the first yell comes from, taking into account the sound of speed and the reverberations and everything. I will do my best. And if, it, if it's impossible for me to figure out who said it first, I'll have like a little trivia question or something to help me decide, okay? Is everybody ready? All right, and remember, don't yo Yoda. It's not Yoda. Is everybody ready for this character from, and I'm not lying this time, from the Origami Yoda series? Is everybody ready? All right, hold on. Shh. Okay, all right, very good. I've, how many people said Dwight? Raise your hand if you're one of the people that said Dwight. All you guys said Dwight. I came from, I thought I heard a young lady's voice coming from this region over here. Could it have been you? Were you one of the first people to yell Dwight? Not the first. Were you one of the first people to yell Dwight? Okay, hold on. Since, hold on a second. Shh. I, shh hold on a second. Like I said, I thought it was a young lady's voice, and this lady in the pink over here, you said Dwight early on? Now, what's that? You were number one? You were number one? You said it one time. You just said it one time because you, you're cool like that, right? Okay. So, if you, it doesn't matter anywhere. It was impossible for me to figure out exactly who said it first. So, I will give this to you if you can answer a trivia question. You think you can handle a trivia question about it? Okay. What was Dwight's last name? And nobody else say it. Shh. Let, her give, let her think it over. What is Dwight's last name? Do you know? How about, what was that? You haven't finished the book? What? Oh, she hasn't finished reading the book. Do you remember what it says on his t-shirt? All right. I guess I'm going to be looking for somebody that, somebody that yelled Dwight and knows what it says on his t-shirt. Do you know what it says on his t-shirt? Hold on. Sh- hold on a second. Do you know what it says on the t-shirt? She doesn't know. She, do you know? Do you know? 39 cents. She's got it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a winner. 39 cents. Very good. All right. And what's your name? Also, Larry. Very good. Okay. All right. Very good. Now, oh, this guy knows the whole thing? What's the whole thing? Biggie size your combo for just 39 cents. That's incredible. Very good job. See, Dwight got that shirt for free at Wendy's, and so he wears it to school every day, right? And that's weird, right? That's a weird thing to do. Well, that's the thing about Dwight. He is weird. I mean, look at him. He looks weird. His hair is weird. The clothes are weird. He acts weird. Let's just, I just want to ask you guys a question. Why do you think I would choose to write a book about the weirdest kid in school? Because I could write a book about anything I want. Because you were the weirdest kid in school. Because why? I didn't quite hear that. Because you were the weirdest kid in school. What was that? You were the weirdest kid in school. (laughs) Are his parents here? Could he be? Could he go on home now? I think he needs to go on home. Uh, No, so he's actually absolutely correct. That's the reason I write about the weirdest kid in school. It's because I was the weirdest kid in school. And it, that means it's real easy for me. These other authors that are here, they spend a lot of time on research and junk. I don't have to do that. I know what it's like to be the weirdest guy in school. I know what it's like to be this nerd that never shuts up about Star Wars. So uh, it's easy for me to write these books. But that actually brings up another question. If this is the weirdest kid at his school, and I was the weirdest kid at my school, raise your hand if you were the weirdest kid at your school. Anybody? Who's the weirdest kid at your school? Oh, this whole front row is weird. Who's the weirdest kid? You're the weirdest kid in your whole school? In the whole school? You're the weirdest in your school? Pretty weird? Weirdest? 
weirdest in the whole school right there? Oh. Yo, oh, you're not volunteering yourself. You're, you're, okay, all right, very good. Weird one back there, very good. Excellent, I'm glad to see so many weirdos here. Now, guys, who knows what he's got on his finger up here? Right, origami Yoda, and that means it's time to make origami Yodas. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna fold origami Yodas right here, right now. They're gonna pass out paper. Be looking for an usher to come by passing out paper to a row near you. And we are all going to fold origami Yodas here, but we are running out of time. We've got the 10 minutes left sign is up. And in fact, it's been up for about three minutes. So we are running out of time. We're going to have to fold the emergency Yoda. Is there anybody here that's already an expert at folding the emergency Yoda? Spider dude, you know how to fold the emergency Yoda? Why don't you come on up here and help me out? All right, here comes the spider dude to help me out. You guys get your green paper. All right, Larry, now we're a little tight on space here. So you just you stand right over there and don't knock the nice lady off of the table. Whatever you want to say. All right. There we go, there we go. All right. All right. You don't need the paper. There's, there should be some paper coming around. Raise your hand if you don't have paper yet. They, We'll try to get some paper to you. It looks like there's a whole bunch of paper needed right here. Here we go. Anybody need paper right here? Wow. All, right. All right. Like I said, folks, this is an emergency situation. We are running out of time. There's very little time left. We are going to have to rock and roll and fold like crazy. Are you guys ready to rock and roll and fold like crazy? This is disappointing, Larry. They're not ready to rock and roll and fold like crazy. Are you ready to rock and roll and fold like crazy? Yes. Are you ready to rock and roll and fold like crazy? Yes. All right. That's much more promising. That sounds great. Ladies and gentlemen, before you get started, make sure you're holding your paper the right way. Ask yourself this question. Was Yoda short or tall? Right. Yoda short. So start with your paper short. You're going to take one side of the paper and you're going to fold it over like this. And then you're going to crease it down. Hold on, Larry. Settle down. Hold on a second. And then you're going to crease it down the side like this. Whoa. All right, everybody doing good with that? That's our first fold, fold number one. All right. Now, what was your name? Is your name really Larry? What is it? No, it's O'Neal. O'Neal. Okay, O'Neal, let's step back a little bit. I'm afraid you're about to fall off. I don't want you falling off. So this is a very important operation. O'Neal is going to take his side and fold it all the way across here. Here he goes. Bom, 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 bom. I didn't have time to finish the song. And now he's going to crease it down the side. Crease it down the other side. Hold on. Don't crease it down over there. This guy's a wild man. You guys didn't tell me he was, a, he was crazy, wild and crazy. Who should have warned me? You should have warned me that he's wild and crazy. Somebody should have warned me. All right, O'Neal, are you ready? Yeah. All right, O'Neal's ready. Are you guys ready? Everybody yeah. got, everybody got a nice looking green rectangle. All right. It doesn't look like Yoda yet. What do we need to do to it to make it look more like Yoda? What does it need? Ears, that's right, it needs ears. O'Neal is going to make ear number one. He sees a corner up here at the top. He's going to reach over with that hand, and he's going to grab that corner, and he's going to pull it out to the side. Keep pulling, a little farther, a little farther. He's pulling it out to the side, and there it is right there. We're going to crease it down the middle. Whoop. Right there like that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is ear number one. Ear number one, the, make it stick way out to the side. That'll help it out a lot. All right, guys, you're doing good. I see a lot of people out there have got it. A lot of people doing good. If you, we're running a little late on time here, so um, if, you, if you don't have it yet, you can always uh, look it up on my website, origamiyoda.com, where I've got instructions for this and many other things. Five minutes left. She just put the five minutes left sign up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We got to keep moving. We got to keep moving. There's how many ears? Does anybody know how many ears we're looking for? Two. You are correct. Two ears. There's another corner up here, but I can't get it out. It's stuck. O'Neal, help. O'Neal pulls things open a little bit for me. That lets me pull the second corner over to my side. I pull it over the same way. I crease it down the middle. O'Neal closes things up. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have a green origami bathrobe. Very useful. Very useful if you're ever uh, naked. 
and you have a large piece of paper. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have done four folds. This is the famous five-fold emergency Yoda. That means we're only one fold away from being finished. We're only one fold away from having the power of the Jedi on our fingertip. We're only one fold away from having Yoda's advice whenever we need it. Ladies and gentlemen of the National Book Festival, are you ready for the fifth and final fold? O'Neill, what did you think? I thought that was underwhelming after everything we've been through together. I didn't feel the force. Did you feel the force? No, I didn't feel the force either. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Book Festival, are you ready for the fifth and final fold? All right, here we go. We're going to fold it down to right about here. Here we go, like this. Ladies and gentlemen, Look at him go, folks. He's out of control. For his own safety, I'm going to have to stop him. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for O'Neill. me I've got to go I've had a great time talking to you guys it's been a lot of fun thank you so much for sticking it out you guys have been here until all day long till six o'clock thanks for sticking around to see me bye guys and may the force be with you this has been a presentation of the Library of Congress visit us at loc.gov